Hello there. Hello there, this is a new political video I have decided to make about Australia and how they are becoming somewhat, well, more like China than m most people would be happy with. Uh, they've enacted surveillance laws. So we're going to just read that article, see what happens, see what, you know, the details. I haven't looked too much further into it, but I know that it's pretty bad. It is really overly and like... They can hack into your shit and know what you're doing. So, this is an article I found. It's a random article. But, you, you know, you can do your own research and see what happens. With Labour support, an Australian uh, government law giving a police unprecedented power to spy on criminal suspects online, interrupting their data and take over their accounts was passed. Despite worry about the law of Kenosha, uh, a low bar for who, who can issue a warrant and the government's failure to adopt all the uh, protections proposed by the uh, committee on intelligence security blah 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 so let's just let's just get to the core and uh, see uh, like the main things so there's from this article there's three authorities that they can do the ability to disrupt data d disrupt data by modifying copying adding adding or removing uh, it or is granted by a data disruption warrant so they get a warrant and they can do a lot of things with your data a network activity warrant permits the authorities to gather information from devices or networks used or anticipated to be used by those who are subject of the order so if they have a warrant on you they can check the stuff you already have and they just, uh, they can uh, gather device um, the information from devices that you're going to be using or are, are using. Uh, account takeover warrant permits the police to seize control of an internet uh, account such as social media to in 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 order to obtain information for invest fucking hell, investigation. Sorry, my speech is not that good. So that's what this article says. That is China levels of bad. So basically, if the here's the uh, worst thing. Apparently, the bar for a warrant is pretty low. And since Australia is a pretty like the th certain things they've been doing recently, I would suspect fucking thought crime, saying things that are politically incorrect, will be, be uh, like included in that warrant. So. If you said something that is um, pretty bad, but it's free speech, it's not bad. If you said something bad, they can get a war on you and do all of those things I've just mentioned, which is pretty fucking bad. Let me search up the what like the um, new warrants bar. Uh, so yeah, it, I can't really find too much on it, but I suspect anything like hate speech, or air quotes, hey, hate speech, uh, will be included in this warrant, um, which is fucking terrible. I half, I'm going to predict this, I half expect in a couple of years, they can implement uh, China's um, the social uh, credit score. I fucking guarantee you that they're going to do that. And it's just so fucking mental that, like, it's so bad. Like, British are gonna do this eventually. No, oh, yeah, in uh, the UK they're gonna do this, and that's gonna affect me because I live in the UK. Thank you, cut. Thank you, motorbike. Yeah, so they're gonna. Yeah, it's just. That's gonna affect me. Because I know I'm gonna say terrible things. Like, I, I don't really care about political correctness. I fucking hate it so much. So I'm going to say bad things. Or bad jokes. And that's. And if it comes to the UK, which I, I fucking guarantee is gonna come in the UK. Because the West is becoming more authoritarian, I might 
like uh, like anyone that says anything bad. Uh, this is my prediction, by the way. I don't know if this is, you know, uh, like in the law. But I, uh, considering what's been happening in the West uh, with freedom of speech, I, you know, I feel like that's gonna be a thing that's gonna happen. So if you say something like a joke, you're gonna be, you know, arrested for that because that's been happening in the West already. And so you know, in the online sphere, you can probably have that as well. So I'm guessing that's gonna happen. It's just so baffling that people can just take this and not fucking complain about it. Like this should be riot worthy. Cause like, let's just go with their thought or logic. A criminal, you can you search everything that they have and uh, like hack their shit if, with a warrant. No, you, no. Because the warrant, like, it, uh, apart from, like, you know, it's in, uh, invading your privacy and all of that, which is bad, you might get the wrong person, and you just, you've seen all this shit, and that's just like, you, you can't just, you can't just do that, that's just fucking terrible, and Australia's just gonna get worse and worse, if they've gone this far, it, it's just, well, what would be a good analogy for it? You, you, you want to give them an inch that they, they'll want a mile. That's what, what I'm trying to say. Like, well, the government has just passed this. They're just going to start passing more and more and more. Until you're, you're not going to be able to think like offensive stuff. Thank you, motorbike, again. It was just the most terrible thing. It's just so terrible. Like, where, what are human rights in the West? You don't have any. Your rights to privacy, that's, that's, well, that was already gone, because everyone can already see your shit. Like, they're dead collecting. Now the government just said, oh, we're going to do it if we get a warrant, which is a low bar. It's just, freedom of speech, gone. That doesn't exist. Or even if you're rich or powerful, you will, you know, be cancelled. Or like Count Dankley's case a couple of years ago, he got arrested for it. That's gonna be more of a um, recurring thing now. It's gonna be more prevalent, which is scary. Uh, that's all I wanted to talk about. It's just, I wanted to talk about it yesterday, but I was just feeling really tired, so I just couldn't be bothered to do it yesterday. But I was just energized today and wanted to do it today. So thank you very much for watching and um, comment down below what you think of these shitty little laws that they've passed or are going to pass. I don't know if they've been passed or not. Uh, and I'll see you next video.